Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a simple character in an animation software called Blender. Okay, so let's start. First, you want to get into um, front view by pressing 1 on the numeric pad. Now 5 on the numeric pad, which puts you into orthographic mode. Now tab, or here, to put you into edit mode. Now press A to deselect. Z. This puts you puts you into wireframe. Okay, now press B for box box select box select. Select this part, the upper part, and now press E to extrude. Hold Control, and now just like uh, grab this out. This is what you'll get. Okay, do that again. E to extrude. Okay, good. This is what you have right now. Okay, now press A to deselect. Okay, now press B for box select. Select this side right here, this side. E to extrude. Like so. So, um, this, this. The, uh, what we're making here is going to be the legs of the character we're making right now. So, okay, so extrude, con hold control, now just push this out, okay. deselect. You have to deselect whenever you're um, turning, uh, when, you, when you're going this like the same way, you don't have to de um, deselect, you can just keep on extruding, but when you when you turn like over here or over down there, you have to deselect or it won't work. It'll, it'll just keep going the same way. So now, B for box select, select this side right here, extrude, hold control, extrude, hold control, okay. Now deselect because you want to uh, start from here now. Now box select, select this side, extrude with E, now hold control and push this out, do it one more time, one last time. Okay, that's what we have so far. This is gonna be the like uh, this is gonna be the spine. It's gonna be the legs. This is this is the head actually. This 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 part of the back. Deselect. Box. Oh sorry. Box select. Select this side right here. Now extrude. Uh, there we go. Control. Extrude. Hold control. Okay, good. And now, uh, deselect with pre by pressing A. Now, box select. This side. E to extrude. Hold control. Move it out. E to extrude. Hold control. Move it out. Okay. Now, A to deselect. This is what we have. If you can see, this is the head. These are the arms. These are the legs. Okay. Now, what you want to do is control R. This is what you'll get. These, uh, this pink line. Now you want to select this because you want to make um, the uh, the head. Oh wait, let me go do this. Sorry. You want to make the head, this part of the head, a little smaller. So Control R. Press this, and now just put the press this down to this line right here. Okay. This is what you'll get. Now press S. We're going to move this. When you press S, this is what happens. And now you can just move the head around like that. Just make it like this. Now A to deselect. Control R again. Do this. I'll push it down right here. S. Okay. Same, same with the other side. S. After this. S. Okay. A to deselect, now B to box select, select this side because we're going to make this a little smaller too. Now, we're going to select this whole box right here, don't just select this side or this side or this side, we're select the whole box, now S to resize, there, wait, no that looks too, too small, okay, resize, okay, and now, B to box select, select this whole box right here. Now S, 
a little smaller. There we go. Okay, now you want to make um his legs a little more realistic and uh more good looking because nobody has pointy legs, you know that. Okay. So now we're gonna uh do box select. Okay. It's right over there in that in that corner right there. Now box select again in this corner. You get this is what you get. Now this, this to do this you have to hold this blue right, blue line with your with your uh left left um left left click it and hold drag it down like right about here. And now S S there we go. Right about there. Right about there. A to deselect. So this is what we have right now. Okay. Okay, uh there we go. Huh. <clears throat> now what you want to do is um uh press Z to go out of wireframe like this or just press this solid. That's what, that's what you want. And now press tab to go out of um uh edit mode or just go to object mode from right here. So this is what you have. Okay, so now we're going to um Go over here. We're gonna we're gonna change the color. Wait, wait. Before we change the color, we're gonna do something else first. We're gonna go here. Add modifier. Okay, right there in the in the wrench right there. Now we're gonna click subdivision sur surface. Click it. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna change this to at least three or four. Right there, three or four. I'm gonna choose three. Render can do three or four. The same thing. Okay. Uh, and now, uh, t since this is, you see all these small lines, make this smooth. No more small lines there. Okay, so this is our guy. <sighs> and now, you want to change the color. Go over here to object. Click this pin right here. And now, go here. To the circle thing right here. And now you get this. Click on the diffuse box right here. And you can change the color. I'm gonna choose um blue. Okay, so okay, so just just in case something happens, I'm gonna save it right now. I'm gonna save it as um and animation. Okay, so okay, so now what you're gonna do? We're gonna add um bones. Or armature, armature is what they call it in Blender. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, uh, we are uh gonna go um, press Shift and A, Shift A. So you get this little menu right here, and now go on armature and single bone. Okay, so to move this, we can just do this with the right click, or we can just uh, press G, G. And then you can move it around. Now place it right here, right over here. Okay. Since we can't see it right now, we have to go um here. X-ray. Click this button right here. X-ray. See now you can see it properly. Okay. So uh go on to edit mode. Then that's what you get. Press E to extrude. We have some bones right here. There we go. Three little bones. Okay, now press A to deselect. Go over here again. E to extrude. E and E. Go back over here. Extrude one huge bone right here. Spine. Now over here. The head. Okay. Click over here. E to extrude. One, two, and three. Three bones. Go back over here. E, E, E. Okay, so that this is our basic armature. <clears throat> uh, what you want to do now is um, go on object mode. Click the man. And now, click shift. Hold shift, hold, hold shift, and now click the armature. This is what you get. 
Now click Control P. This is what you get: uh, object, object, armature deform. We're gonna click armature deform. This is what we get. So now click the armature itself, the armature, and go into pose mode. Now go to the man and go over here to weight paint. The man turns blue. So switch this is what you do. Click each bone once. For example, if you do this this shows uh weight paint shows what which bone does what. So if I were to um show this bone uh moving the head, I, have to ha I would have to color color the head until it comes completely red. Now this bone. This bone. And finally this bone over here. So this this bone moves the head. This bone moves this part. This bone moves this part. And this bone moves this part. The last part at the end. Um now over to this side. This bone move this part. This this oh oopsies. And this uh, over here. Oh, oopsies. Now this bone. Uh, here. Oh, I've got this part right here. And now this bone. This bone. This. Bone. Okay. So this huge bone right here is gonna move this whole this whole middle part right here. Okay, so do that. Okay, do this. This bone. We check if you do the, the, see that this this isn't completely. You have to check uh or it won't. It, if you try to do the animation, it won't work properly. So now this bone. This. And now this bone. Bone. So yeah, you want it to turn red. That's 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 what um that shows that which bone moves which one. It, it, these other colors won't really matter. You want it to turn red. Last right button right here. Okay. Check. Didn't do this one. And. This bone move this at the end of the foot. Okay. So I think we're almost done. Okay, there we go. So now go to object mode. So what you have? What? Which? Uh, okay. With your uh, right click this. This so is what this moves. See? So what this moves? Uh, this is what this moves. And this is what this will so so on so forth like that. So I'm gonna save it one more time. Oh, whoopsies! I think I pressed the wrong button. Save it. This one. Okay. So now for the animation part, I'm just gonna show you some simple animation. Nothing too advanced for now. Uh, you gotta click click the whole uh pr press I. You have to uh click the whole character. Now, uh, you got you wanna go on f uh about like choose your frame rate. I'm gonna choose like 25 to 30, maybe maybe 20, 25 is pretty good. Okay, go on 25, and now change it to whatever whatever position you want it to be. Now, uh, I'm gonna make him. Uh, make him like normal standing position. Um, there we go. Uh, you could you can also change it like this. You can make him go. Um, 
I'm gonna make him go like this or this. So I'm gonna make him go like this maybe. And for this bone, I could make him go the other other way. There we go. And now, this is what we have. With the whole eye again. Whole character. Okay. So now you wanna press this one right here. Go back. And this is what we will get. So that's what you do, and keep going on. Always remember to uh, press I first, then hold character, and then go to the next frame or whatever, whatever you want. Change it, and then press I, click I, hold character again, and then, then that's, uh, then you can play it, or it won't work properly. Okay, so that's what you, uh, how you make a simple character on Blender. Goodbye.